integrated pest management garden, we've demonstrated a variety of techniques to manage insect pests as well as diseases. But another common problem in the landscape are weeds. And when you practice organic methods or if you're not interested in using chemicals, we don't have a whole lot of options. Uh, so if you want to avoid chemical herbicides, what we can do is either solarize or smother the weeds. Now with smothering, we employ a thick covering over the soil, such as this black plastic. You can also use cardboard or old carpet, uh, any thick material. Um, and basically we're just smothering the weeds below the plastic. Now this can be used to kill weeds uh, that are already established and also new seedlings that are coming up. A lot of times we see this employed in a vegetable garden uh, where we put it on the beds early in the season. It helps warm up the soil. It's great for retaining soil moisture and of course weed suppression. Now one of the things that happens with black plastic is it gets very hot under there um, and it can kind of kill the weeds through heat. Uh, but we don't have to worry about our crops so much because as they grow, they'll shade the top and prevent the soil from getting too hot that it kills the plants. Now our other option is using solarization. Solarization employs clear plastic that's used to trap the radiant heat of the sun in at the soil surface and uh, the upper layers of the soil. And it can be used to kill existing weeds, to kill weed seedlings and seeds, and it also can be used to sterilize soil of soil-borne pathogens as well as nematodes. So we have a few different options, but before we start, we want to select a plastic that is sturdy enough to hold up in the landscape uh, for several weeks, six to eight or more, um, but thin enough to let the sun pass through. So we want something that's very clear. Um, the lighter the plastic, the more sun will, will pass through, but again, the, more, um, the, the less tough it'll be in the landscape. Before we get started, uh, depending on your situation, if you're using this as a soil sterilization method, you want to turn the soil, uh, bring up any seeds that might be in there, and then you want a nice smooth surface. We also want the soil to be damp, but not uh, sopping wet. And so I've watered this and it's definitely a wet soil. You can see if I squeeze it together that it's damp, but it's not too wet. If you're using this to kill an existing bed of weeds, you want the plastic to be as level as it can be. So if there's a really large weed, you might cut that back just to create a level surface. Okay, so make sure that your soil's damp um, or if there's plants that you get that watered. And then we spread the plastic and we want the plastic to be as close to the surface of the soil as possible to trap in that heat. And I'm just gonna use little landscape pins to hold the plastic in place. And you can use this on a very large area or a small space. It's a great way to prepare a new planting bed. Um, and ideally, you're gonna do this the year before you plan on planting because solarization takes a fairly long time. We're gonna to wanna to leave our plastic in place for about six to eight weeks and that'll give it time to sterilize that soil, to kill any existing weeds, and kill seedlings. Now I've tried this with Bermuda grass before, and that's a little bit different. Uh, Bermuda is very hard to kill with both the plastic, the um, dark plastic mulches, or solarization. What I would recommend with Bermuda grass is to solarize it for a period of six weeks, and then till it, and solarize it again for six weeks, till it, and do it one more time. It's a lot of work, uh, but if you don't want to use chemicals, that's going to be your best way to bring up those deep rhizomes, get them to germinate, and try to kill them through solarization. And this is a great chemical-free way to manage not only weeds, but also soil-borne pathogens in the landscape. 